Hi guys, I hope you're all well. I am at least and it is about midday and it is Saturday so I'm off for the day and it's so nice that it's finally weekend and I had some time over so I thought I'd do a video. Well actually I do not have time over, I've made some time because I am currently writing a paper which was due a couple of months ago <laughs> or actually we do not have like uh, a deadline for that particular paper it's just a recommended deadline so I'm a month a few months past uh, that deadline so I'm trying to catch up and to write that paper but it's kind of hard my focus is not entirely on what I'm supposed to be doing. I The only thing I can think about is like university and what I need to do to get my grades up. I mean I don't think I have to make a lot of changes, I just need to focus on studying because I... Okay, I'm going to translate this now. Uh, I need to get a B in maths and I've got this is my third maths course in like my high school or college or whatever you call it. Uh, I'm in the 13th grade right now and I am studying my last year before I graduate. And I've taken like one maths course every year or one maths class or whatever you want to call it. And I've always gotten B in maths, so like I didn't think I had to like change very much. But the calculus I'm doing right now is very hard. It's at a C level. Okay, so this is going to be weird for people who um, study maths in a different way. I imagine many people do, but we have like. Um, like the A module or A class and the B class and C and it goes all the way up to F I think and it like A is the easiest and then B gets a bit harder and then C is a bit harder and D and so on and so on. So I'm doing C maths and I'm not the most... I think I've said this before, I'm not like a mathy person. <laughs> I don't, don't know what to call myself, but uh, I'm not very good at math or math, so um, math C is a bit hard for me, and I thought it would be quite easy to get a B, but it's not. I mean, I need to study every day, and I still don't get a few things, so um, that's the only thing that I think will be the real challenge for me to go to university is like maths because the rest of my courses is, is fairly easy I won't say they're like very easy but uh, I mean I obtain quite high grades in the rest of my classes, courses uh, and s as well I am, am applying for scholarships and student finance of course um, but like scholarships because I think if I get um, some funding from different um, scholarship funds, then it, uh, I don't have to take out as much um, of, a, of a student loan as I would if I did not get money from these funds. So, like, I'm applying for, like, you can see this bunch of papers, different funds, um, and on most of the papers, they are like. Like you see, there's one fund, there's one, there's one, there's one. So it's like six funds per paper, and that's a lot. And you basically have to write a personal statement for every fund you apply money for. So I will be very busy the coming weeks, I'd say, because I need to get these in. Most of them are due in March, and some of them are in February, and some of them is already past its due date, so I can't apply to them. And that's quite sad because many of the funds I would be eligible for and I think I could have gotten money from them. 
so that's quite sad but I still have some to apply for so I will be quite busy the coming weeks and um, what else can I tell you I'm currently waiting for like for two things I'm waiting for the U cars to uh, they have this um, like Facebook page where it's called you go or something like that and it's like basically a way to connect with people who are going to be going to your university and so you can like get connections and like get to know people before you go which is amazing and um they I think they are saying that it they don't know when it's going to be up and running but it's going to be in the near future so I'm just keeping an eye out for that and hopefully that will be soon and if you're watching and going to university in the fall then I'd recommend you like checking it out um, when it's up and running of course uh, and so the other thing is I'm waiting to apply to accommodation um, or I'm choosing going back and forth between different accommodation options because I want to live near, near my campus and near school because I've lived far from school long enough I think um, I have been traveling about an hour and a half to school for about seven years so that's a long time and I'm dying to live close to civilization for once so it's going to be a tad more money but I think it's worth it and that's partially the reason why I'm applying for these scholarships so I can pay the rent of the accommodation I will have and I'm looking to get an ensuite room because I need my own bathroom I think it's like not very hygienic to share bathrooms with people that you just met <laughs> and so I would like to get my own bathroom if that's possible um, what else I mean, they've said that the option of applying for accommodation will be um, will be like the early February. So, like about now, it will be up and running for people to apply to accommodation, and I will do so as quickly as I possibly can to get the best option of accommodation. I think that's about it really. I know that people watch my videos for like I've gotten the most views for gymnastics videos and I promise you guys that if I move to university this fall that I will try to make more like gymnastic types related videos because that's a, that seems to be the thing that you're all interested in. and. So I will start training again and I thought about maybe starting cheerleading. I've, I've never done cheerleading but I mean with my gymnastics background I imagine it will be a great fit because I I went online to the uh, like sports clubs uh, website, web page and um, it said that the gymnastic uh, like the gymnastics club meet like once a week and train for two hours and that I think I think that's a bit low or a bit that's not very much so uh, I looked up cheerleading and they practice four days a week and um, I think about one to two hours every time so um, that would be I think that would be would be fun to like compete in a team because I've never been involved in team sports I've always been an individual athlete and I imagine it would be quite fun to be a part of our team so if I get in I will look into cheerleading and I will um, try to join the gymnastics club okay so that was it for Today I'm going to go back to writing my paper now and hopefully I will be done very soon. Well not very soon but soon anyways. The paper is going to be very long. I imagine about 20 pages in Word. 
word office. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later and have a great day. I will at least. And I'm going to let you out my window, I can see, because we have great weather outside. And I know that I have been complaining. I don't know if you can see the weather. I mean, the snow is melting away as we speak. But um, hopefully, like, it will. Uh, the sun will stay out. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So, um, I'll see you guys later. And oh gosh, that's messed. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye.